Hello and welcome back to Mega Man 2 with me, Hedo Inc. Last time we took out Quick Man and took his quick boomerangs for ourselves, which I'm going to show off this episode. And we took out Woodman and got his leaf shield, which I'm not sure if I'll get the chance to show off, but I'll try to, even if it's just without any real purpose, just just to show it. So, now, you might notice that I haven't gone back to the character select screen, that I'm just sat on the screen, but that's because when we go to stage select, we will not go back to the stage select screen, we'll go straight on to the next bit. As you see, we've got the UFO, and Dr. Wiley, moving his eyebrows at us suggestively. Like, he could have been moving his hand like it was like, a come on, but, you know. Eyebrows going like, hmm, at us. Yeah, that works too. So now we're in the Wily, Dr. Wily's stage. Uh, there are six parts to this. This is the first on the outskirts, so we're going to equip our Metal Blades. Because first off, we've got our old friend, well, old nemesis, Easter Eggs. Well, not Easter. The good thing is, they drop a lot of stuff, but the thing is, it's usually good to try and hit the birds. That was a nice shot. I was just doing it, trying to do a recording, but then the phone went off, so I decided to restart. And I was just hitting none of my shots. So, hopefully this one will be better. Number three, clings to the wall and gets us up. There'll be a lot of skill switching during this bit, or well, during these stages. But there's something different. In the ones before, we got our skills topped up after every level. In this part of the game, we have to be very conservative with them, because we don't get any more. We have to keep on topping them up. So, number three again to get us up this wall. Now, bubbles are the best way to take out these guys, so... So, as you notice, the special numbered skills come up a lot in these stages. Right, do we try and... Bollocks. That's not what I meant to do. Alright. You know what, we're just going to leave that extra life. Don't need it. Just because it's just... It gets a bit difficult to try and get it back. Alright, metal blades. There we go. Use it to top up number three, because that's getting quite low. And keep on moving. So this bit is kind of like the exterior of his castle. I'm not sure what those holes in the walls are meant to be, but potentially they're the lookouts for the guards. So I do look quite like this the design of this stage, because it is like you're infiltrating. Right, let's top up our metal blades. Because Metal Blades are just probably the most useful of, them, of the special powers. I can't take out these guys. But if I'm honest, I'm just going to let this guy walk past. Oh, that is something about this game that I only realised whilst I was practising these levels. Is that if you change a skill on a ladder, you just stop clinging to the ladder. Alright, he's gone past. And he runs off. And I think that's just... Obviously it's just something they couldn't help because of the, the design of the game, but... There must have been some better way to do it. Alright, now I need to concentrate this part because you need to do it quickly. One, two, three. There we go. First try. That bit, you have no idea how long that took me in practice. Because the thing is, the the platforms slowly hover upwards. So if you dawdle too much, you can only have three. So they need to be a good distance apart. And if you stray yourself... Uh, stray yourself? If you stop too much then you'll be too high up, and when you go to jump for the ladder, you'll just hit the top and bounce down. So, now, we are equipping our quick boomerangs, because we are now heading into the boss bit. And actually, out of the three stages that we're going to do today, oh, I'm going to do this in two episodes, probably, rather than three, like I said in an earlier video, just because I was practicing and I thought it just seemed like the right thing to do. But this is probably my least favourite of the three bosses that will come up in this part. Mostly because there's risk of falling like that. That's annoying. Right, I'll get back up to the top and then I'll meet you up there.
Okay, we're back at the top. I might just do a time lapse for that rather than a just quick cut. Just to show that I did that bit with the number one item again, first time. Right, now, concentrating. Jump. Uh, yeah, so. This bit's usually quite easy. Time jumps is. Something I can do quite well. The thing is, if the dragon catches up with you, it's an instant death on your first hit. Right, there we go. Got him. The trick is to stand on that top block, because the main problem with that boss is I was standing at the that block that's the furthest back, and as soon as you get hit once, the shock kind of knocks you off, which isn't what you want to be doing. So standing on that top one, the knock of the shock, which rhymes, uh, kind of knocks you back onto the back block, and you climb back up. You can't see Mega Man at any point, that's just the, the game making him flash in and out of existence. But now I'll show off, look, our bubble is slightly low, but our one and two are very low. So, it's all about conserving your weapons in these stages. So let's go back to regular blue. Right, uh, they dropped some little ones, so. Oh, what can we top up? Right, now. Run away! See ya! Alright, now this bit. As long as you've got enough power, you can skip the first one and go straight for the second one, is what I was going to say. Second one was the words. That's annoying, um, because now we're going to have a really low number two. So you got to kill these guys to um, top it back up. And of course they're giving us health when we need... Uh, the problem is with these special ones is they can't defend themselves, so I can go like that. It is at the risk of getting hit. Right, let's top all our shit a bit. Now drop off our number two here. Oh fuck. Okay. Ah, that's awkward. I don't know what pressing continue does. Um, let's find out. Right. Let me guess, we've lost all lorry tanks? Yep, but we've got top up and everything else. That's really fucking annoying, because I'll save in those E-tanks. Uh, take out all these bastards. Now. And just, we're just gonna go now. Not gonna try and do anything clever. Actually, one more attempt. Yeah! Mostly because we do need that E tech now. We need it so badly now. Because that was just embarrassing. Oh, oh, the death count is getting use. Because like, when I put that in, I was like, oh, I'm sure this is gonna be really high. Loads of game overs all the time, but it turned out a lot better than that. Right, now we need to. Alright, but me. What the f- Ugh. Ugh. I do guarantee- This is the first time that a stage has gone worse than in practice. And it's just annoying. We'll go the proper way this time, because the special stuff doesn't regenerate, so... There is no point us not going this way. Right, this requires crash bombs. Uh, we'll use that to top of number two. 
So this will probably end up being a slightly longer episode just because we're doing three stages and apparently I'm just playing shit. Which is bad. Funnily enough, playing shit is bad. Um, go back to P. Yeah, you can drop down. Because the thing is, you need to be careful while dropping down in case you're dropping down and stuff ends. Right, uh, dropping down on something deadly like spikes. But unfortunately, we can't get that E tank or that life because that requires us going the other way. But, that does have the platform there. Now we should just be able to make this jump. There we go. Wow, that just took. Now this bit, that's pretty standard. Um, as if you remember, these were what we faced in the very first uh, boss that we did, which was Metal Man. So I just kind of stand here spamming the gun for a while until we clear the way. When they come from the ceiling, it's a bit annoying. Cause I think those are just designed to soften you up for the uh, boss. So you get past these. And also each stage kind of takes some kind of... Rem oh fuck. No! That way. Apparently I'm just playing like balls today. Apparently that's what's happening. Right, go up here. Alright, so that's emptied our three quite a lot, but I don't think we need it for a while. So we should have time to stop it up. Right, and... There we go. Nicely stopped in the middle. Down here, and drop. Okay. This one's quite, uh... Now this one will be a... Yeah. Use up the rest of our two... Wait, do we need that health? Yeah, let's go for that. Just because it won't use up too much of our number two, just to get do it. And now we are at the second boss. You might be thinking, well, where is the boss? Well, here it comes. It's going to form from two bits of rock wall. But luckily, this one is quite an easy one to take to get rid of. Because there's no way it can knock you off the stage. And with the directional things of the directions of the metal blades, you can stop them before they come near you mostly. And that is stage two down. Good, 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 good. Instant death spikes, I'm telling you. So now we're going on to stage three, after which we will stop the episode for the day. Oh, this one's flashing. So, come on, we can do this first time. Oh, nice. Right, so. If my Mega Man is flashing in and out of existence, I do apologise. Alright. I think, I think, looking at it, we might need to give this uh, power-up to Crash Bombs. Which is ironic, because we use Crash Bombs to get it. Alright, that one's going to there. Hmm. Now, pull up number two. It's about managing resources, this bit. Isn't that exciting sounding? Um, nah, it's great, let's go. Alright, now, it's water physics from Bubble Man stage, and the instant death spikes from Bubble Man stage. And I press jump. <sighs> Apparently that's what's happening now. Uh, drop down here. Oh, whoops. 
Put down here. Jump. Right, now. Jump! And... Yes. So this one is a lot more time jumps before with the, uh... The occasional fish. And the kind of water-based physics with the slow... The higher jumps and the slower falls. But for the most part, as long as you actually jump, it's quite... It's alright. And it's about not overdoing your jumps either. And having... I was going to say having quick reflexes, which I apparently don't. I hope I don't get another game over. Two game overs in one episode is going to be very embarrassing. Alright, I just cut out that, uh... Most of getting here. Well, I did the speed up thing again. Alright, now. Now it's about fucking reflexes. Um. Good, good, good. There we are. Awesome. And we're out of the water. I'm not sure how I feel about things being just left like that. Because it's just kind of like a cheap hit, really. I mean, if you know they're coming, then there's not really much you can do. Unless you use your... Well, I guess that'd be a good chance to use the leaf shield, but oh well. But now we are at the boss. So this is the third boss, which is the Guts Tank. And he goes down pretty easily, as long as you just get the boomerangs in his mouth. That's a weird sentence. So, that is it for this time. Last, Next time, we will hopefully complete the game. When we go through stages 4, 5 and 6. I've been Hadoink. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.